my, someone got inspired by the Luca movie, huh? So then I definitely have Italian ancestors. Slimes have international heritage, <laughs> Well, if you love Luca and Italy so much, let's make a craft about it. It's gonna be a perfect place for your little treasures. Ciao, guys. I've learned some Italian words, too. Asu, uh, is this your kind of treasure? I thought better of you. It's just the beginning. Polystyrene foam is perfect for building a small town. Oh. And where am I going to keep all my stuff? Inside it. We're going to build many houses and hide your treasures between them. Okay. I'm ready to build the town of my dreams. Good, here are the foam pieces for you. Happy crafting! I don't think I can carry them for that long. Silence these thoughts. You know how to do that, right? Silencio Bruno, silencio Bruno! I did it! Great! And I'm almost finished with the base. Guys, we're using a thermal cutter for more precise lines. So you better ask an adult to help you with it. I made a cute small house just right for me. What's next? Our houses need solid roofs. Let's build them in two steps. First, we'll add glue. And then we'll join these pieces together. Yep, I'm the perfect builder. Done! But it still doesn't look like my Italian dream, though. Give it some time. We've got to prepare our houses for the next transformation. Guys, apply some putty to them. It helps to cover any surface defects. Check this out! The putty's dried out, and we can smooth the surface with sandpaper. Susan! Do I look like a sea monster? More like a slime monster. Sammy, are you still trying to prove that- That slimes and sea monsters are alike? Oh, it's a fact! <laughs> oh, Sammy. Even the creators of Luca said that they got inspired by sea iguanas. Then I'm gonna make the most amazing town and make them jealous. <sighs> Okay, as you wish. Let's paint our houses together. Ah, it's so relaxing. La, da, 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 da. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Sue, you were right. It's incredible. Well, then it's time to bring our residents into houses. Mine is going to be a small family house just for the slime family. My big house is open for everyone. Guys, where would you want to live? Let's add a bit of volume with a white acrylic liner. Andiamo! Oh no! The door's too small! How will my slime family get inside? Maybe they're just small, huh? Slimes come in different shapes and sizes, you know. Although, I have a bigger door here. Take it and don't repeat your mistakes. Thanks, Susan. Now we're talking. Here comes the last touch. The hammer. Bam, 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 bam. Just in case. Holy cannoli! Seems like I found some new treasures. These are actually mine. I totally forgot about them. Our houses won't have central heating, so we'll make little chimneys. Bellissimo! Susan, you're a genius. Thanks. Now it should dry out. It takes some time. We're editing this part, guys, so you won't wait too long. The chimney is ready. Please welcome. And here's one for Sammy's house. Our town can't do without a sea. Let's make it right now. So we have two houses, but the town is still in process. Don't worry, I'm working on that. And I'm gonna make a rocky sea coast. Polystyrene foam is here again. But this time, we're changing the shape. For starters, let's draw an oval. Here we go. Susan, check this out! Fish scales look good on slimes, huh? So, you can transform like Luca and Alberto did? 
No problem! Uh, sorry, I just need some time to adjust. Maybe some water will help? <gasps> Sue, it doesn't work like that! Now I need to dry out to transform into my original look. Oops, I forgot the right order. <laughs> Take your time. The thermal cutter cuts so smoothly, but guys never use it without adult supervision. See? A couple of seconds and I'm me again! Wow, your transformations are fast. By the way, the coast shape is done. Is this a sea coast? Looks more like a flat rock. We're gonna make the terrain with a few simple moves. Like this. Oop. Guys, this process is really amazing! like a pro. The shape is done. Now let's cover it with the putty this way. And when it dries out, we're gonna smooth it down with sandpaper. Don't worry if you don't make it that quickly. Sue knows some editing tricks. <laughs> now let's start coloring. We'll use a soft sponge for smooth transitions. Oh, that sea color is so pretty. I'd love to dive in here. I got inspired and made a blue house. Do you like marine colors? Then give us a thumbs up! We're coming from the deep sea right to the coast. Let's change the color. Susan, check this out! I think I can move like a sea iguana. You even have a piece of seaweed. Luca's family used it to make their clothes. Just wait a bit and you can come out to the shore. is so oozy. <laughs> and these are a slime's words. Okay, I'll try to hurry up. Finally! I've already started growing moss on my head. Great! We'll use it to decorate the seacoast. In that case, I'll grow some more! Check this out. Seems like we have some green plants here. Susan, I need your help. The thermal cutter isn't my thing. Guys, you can also ask an adult to help you work with it. Great! And I can finish growing moss. Put some water on me, Sue! Ah, so refreshing! Wow! Sammy, here's the roof. Thanks, Susan! And here's the grown moss. The seacoast looks so beautiful, we can start building our town. It's awesome! Whoopsie! I'm fine, I, I just didn't see the shore. That's why we have to make a lighthouse. Oh, how could I forget about that? Slimes aren't easy to hurt, Sue. We can even carry buildings on our heads. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. But the town still needs a lighthouse. Yeah, I remember fishermen trying to catch sea monsters! Ha! See? It means I'm a sea monster too! Or you're just one clumsy little slime. You better help me cut out the third piece. It's gonna be a cylinder too. No, Susan! This is the end! I'm getting back to my Italian roots! Ahem, can you tell me which way Italy is? <laughs> okay, Sammy. If you want to go so badly, you should do it. But help me finish the craft first. Fine. After all, you need a piece of Italy, too. Guys, ask an adult to help with cutting out the pieces. After that, you can show off your coloring skills, like me. A white lighthouse will stand out perfectly. Come on, Susan! Join me! I'll miss a partner like you in Italy. Okay, Sammy, we'll see about that. What did you say? Identifying line. It's great to make the lighthouse more visible from the water. Okay, it seems like 
like it wasn't a disaster after all. <laughs> Let's add some details, like small windows. And a big entrance. Does anybody want to see the view? I want to wave a flag to fishermen and sea creatures. I'll make your wish come true. Put your flag right on the top. Woohoo! Susan, you're the best! The last thing we're gonna make is a guardrail. Yep, there will be no more accidents on the sea! It's time to build up the town. Let's put some glue on the base and place the first house on the seacoast. Guys, check this out! The town is growing in such a short time! We have a few nails left, so let's build something small, like a fence. Hey, uh, where's the place for my treasures? Here it is. These pencils are like our first residence. Guys, would you care for a short tour around town from me? to Italy. It was hard. Blech, but I decided to stay at home. Awesome. I'm glad that you're staying. Although I was kind of sure about that. Besides, I have a piece of Italy here and a whole town for my treasures. What a nice mess. Guys, do you want to have the same? Then give us a thumbs up and recreate this craft. Stick with us. We're going to make some cool new crafts very soon. Ciao! Ciao.